babies welcome back so it's like super early in the morning so my voice is like retarded anywho as i go ahead and partner with wow african to show you this lace wig it is a brazilian uh body wave uh lace front wig of course and I literally did nothing to this hair. So this is going to be a very beginner friendly wig. All of the details on the wig will be listed down in the description box below. Again, it's an 18 inch body wave full. I believe it was a 360 lace if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to double check. And uh, yeah, I decided not to bleach the knots on purpose. I didn't tweeze out the part or anything. I didn't tweeze my edges, nothing. So I'm going to do a middle part. This is going to be for all of you girls that are beginners. You get a wig and then you go, now what? What do I do? So Chrissy, I bought the wig, you advise, but I don't know how to customize it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just do that middle part. I'm taking some Cream of Nature Argan Oil Mousse to actually get my part uh, just kind of laying a little bit better. The hair was extremely full, extremely thick so that was really really good um, for all of you guys that are concerned when the lace starts to shed so if you guys are a little bit further than this point and you guys are familiar with bleaching the knots definitely do so if not you know this is for you girlies that don't know so taking a little bit of foundation going through the part as you can see I did this in a very very messy way again on purpose this is for you girls that truly just do not know so um, if you do make this mistake of putting a little bit too much foundation or concealer whatever you're comfortable with in your part go through with some black mascara or the color of the weave I would assume um, so just kind of clean that up a little bit so it's not the best job but I promise you it works okay um you could have even put in the foundation up under the wig just to make this a little bit better but i had actually laid it down with gotta be glue again if you're a beginner you don't even have to do that much i just yeah i didn't want my wig to be moving so I did go ahead and take my Kenra flat iron spray, of course, just to go through the hair. You can use anything you're comfortable with. You literally don't even have to use a flat iron spray, but I find that it keeps you the, uh, the hair straighter than, you know, usual. So I'll post that down below as well, and I need to remember to put a link. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, section off the hair as of right now. And I'm taking my 2-inch FHI flat iron, as I always do, just to go through the hair, of course, this actually cuts through really big bulks of hair so I'm not having to flat iron for ages using like a one inch so definitely invest in that guys the hair was extremely soft um, I did not even wash it I didn't condition it this is the hair just literally straight out of the box like literally when they sent it to me I said you know what I'm gonna do a video that is just not so complicated let's just do something where take it out of the packaging and see what happens so apparently they do have uh, the knots lightly bleached as you can see in my little temple area where it's like a little discoloration there because you can see my skin tone right so um, that was really nice but the knots were not uh, plucked at all or the hairline wasn't plucked so if you guys aren't familiar with that I do have videos just to kind of show you how to get that together uh, but yeah this is not the purpose of this one so um, yeah just going through the hair as you can see the luster is really really nice now I was getting a little bit of shedding and uh, tingling towards the bottom of the hair which was really strange to me because the hair was not I mean it just wasn't um, hard or anything like that so I wasn't understanding why that was happening um, like I said I usually wash and condition my hair before I even start to style it but uh, yeah this is what it looks like um, as of right now the body wave is still really really pretty as you can see just a nice natural wave nothing too too crazy but yeah at first it did tangle at the bottom so you'll see what I mean and I'm gonna trim those ends off and uh, yeah it's like a bunch of just random pieces that are kind of going in different directions so um, it looks like to kind of build the fullness in their hair, the hair they may have uh, just kind of added in some shorter pieces which to me is fine um, but again that camera hairspray will definitely or uh, I guess flat iron spray will definitely kind of tame those hairs that are kind of sporadic because if not when you flat iron the hair they still will go everywhere and you'll be upset so yeah um, you can even use your mousse to do this you obviously don't want to fully saturate the hair because it'll weigh it down but just a quick look at that hairline as you can see and I did not put the flap down I didn't even cut it to fit my hairline or my ear or anything so no this will be another uh, resale wig of course um, just for you guys beginners and if you want to customize it of course I'll you know offer that option for you and uh, yeah I'm just still going through the hair as you can see um, I find that using the foundation inside of your um I guess with your wigs instead of concealer actually makes it look a lot more natural because it matches your skin tone or whatever color foundation you're wearing if any uh yeah as opposed to concealer usually your concealer is a little bit lighter than your face so uh, you can get kind of awkward but 
It just depends. And I'm using the method to kind of go through the hair with the comb. So um, that usually works, gets uh, the hair straight pretty quickly. And then of course, my hair is kind of bulky up under this, to be honest. I literally had my hair in like a high, um, what did I have it in? A high puff. And so when it was time to film this video, guys, like, yeah, I had to force my hair in two big, lumpy, chunky braids. So the wig could have actually laid a little bit nicer than this, but I have a big head already. So you guys get the just, I'm just, is it just or just? I don't know. Anyway, you guys see what this looks like. And as you can see, it's really, really nice, shiny, and it's laying flat. And the hair straightened with no problem, which it should have anyway, because of course it's body wave. And uh, you guys can pretty much stop here. As you can see, that Gotta Be Glue definitely laid the wig down as flat as possible. Now, this is a glueless lace wig, so you can uh, use the straps that are provided um, on the wig to really tighten that up if you need to. Now me, I'm just going to be extra and do these little baby hairs, which I, I don't even know why I do this because it doesn't do anything for the wig, to be honest. I think it's just like a, I don't know, it's a bad habit, but whatever. Taking my Cream of Nature Argan Oil Hair Spray. Um, this is just like their hair oil, really, really lightweight. I love this. As you guys know, I put it on all my weaves and yeah, just put it all throughout the hair. So uh, this is what that looks like. The luster is fine. It's really, really thick and full, like I said, and... Yeah, this is what the ends were looking like. Like I said before, I don't know what was up. This was an 18 inch, so I ended up cutting it about two inches, which is kind of frustrating. So not sure what was going on with the hair. I definitely should have deep conditioned it. It was soft, but it's like the ends were just like, it was weird. So whatever, I did go ahead and cut that, just pulling all the hair to the front and did a nice even cut, which I prefer it with my weaves anyway. I would have cut it regardless if the ends were feeling kind of weird, but as you can see, they even kind of look straggly, so... I tend to trim all my weaves just to kind of make it look uniform because I'm pretty sure nobody believes there. It's my hair, so yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I like nice even ends. So as you can see, I cut off about two inches. So now this is about a 16 inch, I would say. Um, and then it'll be naturally layered also. So when I pull all the hair to the back, it will be a layer because I pulled it all to the front. So just a light little layer. Then of course, uh, not even framing my face because I wanted this to just be regular straight hair. Don't want to do any flips, curls, nothing to it. I'm literally keeping this wig as authentic as possible because I know that I'm going to need to customize it and do a lot more to it in the future. So this is what that looks like. And of course, this actually stopped the shedding as well. So I guess it was just those straggly pieces that were coming off at the end, which to me, I'm still not understanding how that was even possible. But whatever, try to wash and deep condition your wigs when you first get them just to get a true feel of what that wig is going to be like and how it's going to lay. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what the hair looks like. If you guys have not already, thumbs up, subscribe. Definitely make sure you leave the comment sunflower emoji down below for the hidden giveaway. I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. And, of course, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much, Wild African. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>